difficult three days uh, in a really, really long while in decoding what the market is trying to tell us, right? Uh, if you could not figure out where the market was uh, going in the last three days, that's perfectly fine because I am equally clueless. And our standard verdict for the last uh, couple of days was, you know what, till there is certainty, there's no points in trading. We had said yesterday that if the channel is broken, we can um, take short trades. But if the channel is not broken, uh, probably wait and watch if the channel is really being held or not, right? So let me get right into this one and figure out what is happening today. So today in Nifty, the channel is still holding. Yesterday was a bearish engulfing. Today looks like a bullish hammer, but not a very strong bullish hammer. Tiny bullish hammer holding the channel, right? So let me write that down. <coughs> Nifty forming a small bullish hammer holding the bottom of the channel. It's actually quite scary if you ask me because we are playing with fire. Bank Nifty forming, uh, bounce from the bottom of the channel and from the 50 DMA and forming a bullish rami. Right, both of them are forming unconfirmed reversal signals. Bank Nifty forming a bullish rami, not a perfect one because a perfect one is really tiny. This is kind of big, holding the holding the bottom of the channel, uh, hundred and two hundred DMA. Right. <coughs> If tomorrow's close is above today's close, we can see <coughs> both indices uh, bullish. Else, uh, if channel broken, we will go down. So this is the chart interpretation because as you can see here, if a bullish hammer needs to be confirmed, the close has to be above today's close. If it's not, and if tomorrow it goes below today's close, uh, today's open, then the channel is broken and everything is toasted. Similarly in Bank Nifty, if uh, market goes below today's open, then the channel is broken, everything is toast. But if it is able to hold um, the 200 EMA and the channel and this support zone, then we can see up, right? Uh, now let's look at open interest. Open interest, no surprises. 2,700, everyone ran away. Lot of, not a lot of put writing, lot of call unwinding though. That is interesting. Usually, usually we see a lot of writing and less unwinding. Today, less writing, more unwinding. But even then, even after all this circus, it is not like there is solid supports being formed. It is still a weak looking option chain. The And that's surprising, right? Because the writing was less, the unwinding was more. And despite all that circus, yesterday we had a towering 21,700. Now we have less towering 21,700 and it's okay. I mean, it is not outright bullish, but 21,800 is still a, uh, a resistance zone, right? So we'll write that down. Uh, 21,800 is still a resistance. Uh, 21,500 is a support. A PCR is 0 0.7, uh, neutral to weak, interestingly. Let me see comments if this audio working videos. <clears throat> oh, okay, interesting. Nitesh is asking a channel come to take up. Nitesh, this is we call channel. You know what happens to this channel. Uh, but <laughs> let's 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 see. Uh, okay, let's uh, look at participant option data so <coughs> fii is still short calls 42 uh, k and long puts 1l 
right? So in case, uh, one second, today is what? Tuesday or Wednesday? Today is Tuesday, okay. So before, so then we'll start with this. Today is Finifty expiry, but still. So retail suddenly sold 6 lakh call options and sold one, two lakh put options, right? So this is a massive bearish turn by the retail because retail mega sold call options today, but we don't know if they sold at the bottom or sold at the top, but they sold a lot of call options and bought puts. Pro became super bullish because they bought a ton of calls and they sold a ton of puts, but there is fin nifty expiry today. I don't know uh, if the uh, volume is on fin nifty or We'll, we'll figure that out because when nifty is picking up now uh, and so see the thing is this with everyday expiry this data becomes very tricky the more reliable data is this data so as per this data fii is uh, short one lakh calls and uh, short uh, 50 40k calls and long one lakh puts fii short 40k calls and long one l puts now let's look at pro Where is Pro? Pro, 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 Pro. Yes. Pro, interestingly, is long 2L calls and long 60K puts. Long how many puts? Sorry, it's very difficult to remember. 60K puts. And finally, our client, that is us, we are short calls and short puts, short 1.5L calls and short 1.L puts, <coughs> right? So client is short both. And now FII futures data, uh, client reduced their Futures exposure client is uh, long 60k, FIA is short 80k, which means pro must also be a oh, pro is long. So who's the extra short? The extra short must be coming from DIA. Yeah. So client is short, FIA is long. So client is short around 60k, FIA is long around. 80k. Okay. Let me just double check that number. This is DI. FII is short around 80k and client is long around 60k. Okay, fine. <clears throat> now let's look at cash market. Uh, FII bought some 340 crores today in futures. But that's relatively tiny compared to the outstanding OI and FII bought 400 CR which is uh, negligible, right? And, uh, irrelevant because this 400 crore and all is nothing these days. So verdict. Um, today was US inflation. Basically it all boils down to So here's one thing, right? If despite all the circus that happened today, if the channel holds tomorrow, then we can be very sure that the Nifty index is going to rally. So uh, because so many people are talking about, let's just see what is happening. Uh, Dow Jones industrial average is down 1%. 1% is not mega error. It could also recover. S&P is down 1%. Okay. So NASDAQ down 1% and you see it's already recovering and what is that other thing called uh, SGX50 right SGX50 is not hmm, 21660 is down so see but the thing is this right today anything can happen market can can recover if the channel holds despite uh, 
us going down after so let me not say that because for all you know us might give a flat closing today uh, after the data release if us gives a flat closing today after the data release then you got to expect market to rally tomorrow right uh, but if us closes weak then tomorrow can be a gap down the channel can be taken out we will see rally if the channel holds if the channel is taken out expect a breakdown no points so no no trade till this is clear which is also what we said yesterday because see the thing is this right today yesterday if you had took a yesterday if you had took a long in the morning you would have been scared yesterday if you had took a short uh, by today you afternoon you will be scared again seeing us data you will be happy but who knows if this will open flat or open down so i mean why go through that roller coaster just stay out of it and you know um, plenty of people are already saying that us is recovering gaurish is saying that so um <laughs> yeah sarfraz thank you for correcting it is not fevi call channel it is ambuja cement channel um so so long story short why why would we um uh why take this unnecessary bet we said yesterday it's all on the channel we are going to say again today it's all on the channel if the channel holds then the upside can be significant so bull call spreads or even with tight sl if the channel breaks down then if you can enter near the channel bottom can short futures with tight sl uh, pair put spreads or even sell calls or pair call spreads and all of this makes sense and i'll tell you why so tomorrow let us say that the opening happens in a gap down right let's say ki it opens gap down now the thing is you have a ride um till 21000 at least 500 point you can play that with a bull put, bear put spread you can play that with short futures you can even sell naked calls assuming that you have a stop loss here you can also do a bear call spread but that's not very efficient right uh, the reason the other the catch of course is if it opens very gap down let's say 1% plus gap down which is uh, 21743 it will come to 21500 ish right yeah i mean that's not a big gap down so you can i mean you can uh enter with any strategy you want because you are going to get it reasonably close to this if nifty by any chance opens gap down today tomorrow like this right then wait for some bounce to sell but see like i said right us can recover please don't be assured of a gap down tomorrow for all you know nifty might open flat tomorrow and close above this and if it does close above this we can expect rally yeah and of course if it opens down and breaks the channel it can but long story short till we get to know definitely from the market uh what is going to happen here there's no points for us trying to predict what will happen yeah up predict you kar rahe ho jo hoga market will show us when market shows us we'll take the side but um no point in uh jumping in without uh knowing this thing sorry i did something wrong correct futures data it is opposite sorry sorry one second let me just client this oh sorry 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 atk i client is long 60k if i short atk i'm so sorry i'll i'll get this sheet prepared 
and proofread before the show every day. I think that's the only way to do this, right? So client is short, a uh, long 60K, FII is short. But my, my point is that um, FII being bearish on the market and client being bullish, usually FIIs are supposed to know where the US inflation data will be. So because of that, I'm a little skeptical of this. But again, right, let's not conclude anything. Tomorrow market will open. Don't jump into tomorrow morning's um, open trade, right? Do not jump into tomorrow morning's open trade. Wait for market to settle down. In the first half an hour or one hour of trade, market will clearly tell you whether it's going to hold the channel or break the channel. Once it's clear, then jump into this thing. Don't trade the open. Tra trading open is a very uh, blay idea for most of the beginners, right? And most of the experienced people also find it hard then. What's the point? Uh, if it's a gap down, don't jump into it and buy uh, puts because the IV will be low and if it bounces, you'll lose IV. Also in the bounce, the panic, you'll lose delta. I mean, no matter what you do, don't try to jump into the open. Just give it enough time, it'll settle down. Once it is clear, then we can jump in. Manoj is saying, look at dollar index, it's it's clear market. Is, Manoj, we don't know that for a fact because it's not like INR is responding to dollar index. Uh, see, dollar index has acted strong in the past also without nifty or let me put it this way right there is this entire correlation of people who say that <coughs> dollar index and nifty are core uh, inversely correlated that's not true because dollar has steadily become stronger over the last um, 10 years to 15 years or so and market has steadily strengthened over the last 10 years 15 years or so so dollar being stronger does not necessarily mean anything right uh, so that's that so anyway, that is our analysis for today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining. And as usual, please take care and keep your...